Allie's Tadden here in the 45. That 45 is for sale, by the way, if anyone's interested or knows anybody. This hay looks pretty good here. Got a perfect day of weather out here. It's breezy. It's probably, I don't know, 72 or 3 right now, but it's only 11 o'clock. But the dew's just off, so we're out here tedding. Show you guys the hay out of the block in it. Nice and green. Everyone will be happy with it. It's a little thin in some spots, but the extra fertilizer helped back here. But we still have to wait. We're waiting on our soil samples to come back this week. So hopefully they don't turn out that bad. I think at the one rented field, it'll be the worst compared to here because this actually did have lime uh, probably three or four years ago so it needs it again here but you got you get a lot going on you guys know how it is yeah it's looking pretty good out here we cut it yesterday that video should be uploading You can already hear it crunching. Yesterday I cut it after work. It's probably 6.30, 7 o'clock. So it didn't really have long to sit yesterday, but it's been sitting today. Like I said, it's probably 11. I can check here, actually. It is. Oh, it's 12.30. I'm wrong. So it's been sitting for a good while today. And... We're gonna get it set out here and hopefully dry tomorrow. Maybe we'll be able to break and bale tomorrow, honestly, because it's thin in some spots, so it's not gonna take a lot to dry it. So if we can get it raked and baled tomorrow, three day hay, that'd be great. But worst comes to worst, today's Friday. We might end up just doing it Sunday. But the less bleaching, the better, because the barns we keep them in, how they're them clear tarps. Our hay on the outside gets bleached, but once you cut open the bale or move the bales around, you can see that it's still nice and green. So next time around on them buildings, maybe just get a, end up getting a gray tarp to keep the sun out. Now I told you guys how we had bees last year, but they died and we didn't end up getting any more for this year, but we plan to next year. But I don't think this is what the inside of the beehive is supposed to look like. Holy ants. Oh my gosh. Not good. Well, you guys can't see it, but I'll have to take a picture after. These wheels actually got, they come down like this. Let's say here's one wheel and here's the other. They actually opened up a little bit like that. So now the tires are riding on the insides. But it's that design for the tetters. You guys know a lot of them tetters just have that single bar down for the wheels instead of, that. you got some good designs like Crone has a nice one where it's a lot stronger of a build. 
So those ones, tra us transporting it down the road so many times and hitting potholes or anything, holes in the field even, bent those bars out. So I think we're gonna have to take a strap and maybe try and pull them back together. 